Hello class world. Today we are going to learn chapter 11 genders which are the simpler forms of grammar you can know and see genders are of three types you can see here masculine nouns, feminine nouns and common gender nouns. Masculine nouns are you know here masculine is nothing but male which relates to the boys, men, males. Okay. Masculine nouns are naming words for men, boys and boys or males feminine nouns are naming words for women girls or females yes you know boys are related to masculine girls are related to feminine men are related to masculine women are related to feminine yes males males are to masculine females are to feminine and the third one is there are some common gender nouns that are used for both males and females see children common genders are those we use to call as doctors engineers scientist explorer barber so these all come the professionals those we call those are called the common gender nouns so we can't say like that this is a male doctor female doctor this is a men doctor that is a woman doctor this all this is we can't say that is a wrong word just we call as a doctor engineer scientist these all are the common gender nouns here we call a man or a woman or a girl or a boy they can call as a doctor only they can't say it is a male doctor or a female doctor the next is a neuter nouns neuter nouns are naming words for things computer air conditioner microwave books are neutered gender nouns neutered gender nouns are these three these things are, these are the words related to things we can't say it is a, there is a no gender for a thing so these are called as a neutered gender so formation of feminine and masculine gender nouns by using a different word you can see here there are different words given forming a different word second is adding ess to the masculine means we are adding mas uh, ess to masculine yes masculine is given we are adding ess here when writing to feminine and next is by dropping a vowel and adding ess vowels we, the uh, words ending uh, the words we are there which are ending we are de deleting that vowel actor you can see here actor o is deleted o is a vowel s a e i o u so o is deleted and we are adding ess next uh, by changing a word before or after a masculine means in masculine we can we are at the end of the masculine we are changing the word and we are adding my female gender so this is the fourth one and coming to fifth one you can see masculine we find masculine and feminine genders in animals and birds too yes we can see masculines and feminines in animals also means you can say there is a male or a female one yes bull cow buck doe fox vixen cock hen drake duck these all are like in animals there will be males and females masculine and feminine so read out this genders chapter 11 and go through the exercises 1 and 2 in your english grammar no textbook thank you